Well, I'm sitting here and it's about nine o'clock on Monday evening. We've finished up Master Builder. The people are in the process of flying out or catching buses tonight or from different parts of the nation of Mexico and going back to Denmark, going back to Germany, going back to uh, uh, Finland, going back to uh, Africa. And uh, it's just been a fantastic time. This has one been a, one of the best master builders we've ever had. I literally felt like I was on a water spout of revelation and just kind of like we were surfing. And, and God just visited us in a very particular way, but really around the themes of how to build people who impact our societies. This has been a, just a wonderful time. And we just finished up, of course, master builder goes in to uh, the last week, uh, Tuesday we have this prophetic day and the prophetic day was just fantastic. Uh, one of the things I was super impressed with is that we had all these, we had like a seven prophetic teams set up, but I can remember when it was very difficult to have people who could move in a strong prophetic gift. Well, several of these teams, we had people who were so pro prophetic, they just were a team by themselves too. But then we had others that were like four or five people on the team. And the prophetic flow was so powerful that we had like about 85 people we had to minister to. And literally, I mean, as you watch this thing take place, you know, we had, we had more prophetic people than we needed if we just told the truth. Because in the teams that had four or five people in them, I mean, the person would be there 40 minutes sometimes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And I just thought, wow, I just remember the day that we didn't have that many people that could flow in this. And now we actually have more than we needed on this particular day. So powerful. So next year we're actually going to make more teams and make them smaller because God has given us so many strong prophetic people. Then we come in and we begin to have the RAM. That's what we call the, the international network. But in Spanish it's red. Um, uh, the, basically the 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 network of churches, a world network of churches, a world apostolic network of churches. So in, in that ram, we kind of listen to what God is doing, and then as the Holy Spirit leads us, we begin to do things, to put things in order, like ordain people to the ministry. But what is so exciting is that as you lay hands on them, the Holy Spirit just comes in and begins to speak things, and the anointing comes on and literally gives them an empowerment. Sometimes they're knocked to the floor, knocked around, and uh, I mean, this was just an exciting, exciting time as we uh, ordained people to the ministry and then put people, prophetic mantles on different people or, or different offices of the fivefold ministry. And it's just a real exciting time. And then we moved into uh, the conference, Prophets Arise, and uh, Tommy Tenney was our speaker this year and also other speakers out of our apostolic team. And basically one of the major themes I think that we would have looked at this year is that persistence and resistance and how that persistence in the sense that once we've really understood how that God restores the image, how that we take on the new identity and then we begin to operate in that identity, whether it's good or bad. And the illustration that I used in my message was Jacob. Jacob is dressed in the mantle of his older brother. He, his father lays hands on him and basically this new state that, Jesus, that, that Jacob gets from his older brother, well, the older brother symbolizes Christ. He's dressed in his mantle. So he has this new state that's over him that qualifies him for an open heaven. So Jacob goes, and that night he has a dream, and he sees the angels switching uh, like shift changes over him. And these angels, a group of angels comes down, and then another group of angels goes back, Jacob was not really sure what the dream means, but 25 years later, it's very clear what the dream means. Even though Jacob's own father-in-law changed his wages 10 times, even though he deceived him, uh, Jacob, and, and, and made him work 14 years for the two daughters that he married. And so all this began to take place, and it looks like Jacob's not going to make it. But this state uh, of, of, that is on him, that is handed over to him by his father. This state that Jesus has given us before his father, the same way that Esau gave him this mantle and he could stand before his father and receive this double portion. This state that God gives us 
of being perfect before the law, that the mountain of, of cursing cannot have an effect on us as you believe in your heart and speak it. And so this state, even after all the resistance that Jacob had, after 25 years, he's going back as a nation. Somehow, even though the enemy meant it for bad, even though he changed his way just 10 times, because he persisted in what God had revealed to him, he goes back as a nation. Most of you who will be seeing this understand that we do a lot of teaching on righteousness. Jesus obeys the law. He gives me his obedience. Jesus is perfect before the law. He gives me his perfection or his righteousness. But this is over me. And just like Jacob, as I'll stand in this and live my life from this point of view and do what I do from this point of view, something wonderful happens. And God continues to work. As we sit in this conference, and I watched what was just a little conference in a small church when we started this, now it's thousands of people coming from places around the world. How that God is able to take what rests upon us and continue to work through all this resistance. Master Builder was fantastic this year. Prophets Arise was fantastic this year. Uh, we hope that you can come and be with us next year if you weren't with us this year. We'll do it one more time at least. And if you weren't able to catch Master Builder this year, what you missed, you know, you'll never know. But God is doing something fantastic. The French were here. Now they're in the process of leaving. And as we watch the different people go and hear their testimonies in this last supper week together, uh, it's just incredibly powerful to realize. One brother said, my life was defined from before I was a Christian, now I became a Christian. And then he said, and now my life has been redefined from before Master Builder and after Master Builder. Uh, when you know how to build, life is different. Or as we always say, life is different when you have an open heaven. Thank you for just spending a little bit of time. I wanted to say a few things here as, uh, as we finished up Master Builder. I'm so proud of our team. Uh, I mean, we worked these three weeks with people coming from around the world, going into homes, picking them up every day, cooking food for them, recording all the messages so they can have DVDs. And then the, the security teams, the, the specialty stuff that we do in the conference, the opening of the conference. If you can't find that on the internet, you need to get it a fantastic, a new, a different kind of revolution. Bless you. And I'm Richard Hayes. And and you can always check me out here at richardhayes.com. And I answer all the emails at richardhayes.com. And I also answer all the emails at ccworld.org. Jump over there and visit with us and make sure you're enrolled in CCI World and help us build a, a social network that reaches, continues to reach even more around the world with what God is doing and saying. And you just being one of our editors and one of the people who are just contributing there on a regular basis, your thoughts on what God is speaking to you and the wonderful things. We love you. And I really appreciate you spending this time with me. Bless you.